Applebee. Uh, what is it? Hey, when you come back out, there's a whiskey. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Sorry, I, I forgot. No, that's all right. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. She came in the night. you started us off with a light uh, song. Um, uh, that's what you get with me. Yeah, you know yeah. You're, you're uh, um, uh, a 
complicated, thoughtful fella. Um, Thank you. Ah, okay. Anyway, uh, so that song is, I mean, the, the poetry of your songwriting is really remarkable. I mean, um, the, there are a couple lines in that song, um, the, uh, when you sing about being slain in the spirit of reason, baptized in the waters of doubt, um, which uh, managed to be both beautiful and straightforward, which mm -hmm. is a difficult thing to do. Um, so uh, obviously that song is about losing faith. Um, was uh, uh, how did you come about writing that song? Um, that song was the first song I wrote in this batch that um, appears on the album I just put out. And uh, I have some friends that work as missionaries in Thailand, and I visited them once. Um, and then I visited them again, and the second time I visited them, uh, they had just had a, a child, um, and that uh, her name was Olive, and she was born about three months premature. And so um, a lot of the, uh, sort of as a, as a back story to it, a lot of the um, doubts I'd been having and uh, disintegrating process had already begun for um, my faith at that point, but this sort of was a tipping point, this um, really personal experience of seeing these friends who, by the way, way kind of amazingly maintained their faith in the midst of all of what happened, but they had this child and they were stuck in Bangkok and they couldn't get a plane to take them back because of how tender she was. Um, so they're stuck there with all these um, weird doctors that were pretty irresponsible and she essentially kept dying and then living like barely over and over and over again and they had to endure that and then she finally passed after I had finished this song. Um, so that's, yeah, that... Uh, as, as much as I admire them for their strength in the midst of that, I sort of, uh, this song is me injecting myself into their circumstance and sort of pretending that I'm uh, the dad, not Rusty, who is the dad. And um, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't really, yeah, it just kind of broke the whole thing finally. And uh, I just couldn't imagine it. I couldn't reconcile enough of it anymore, so that song sort of demonstrates that. <laughs> 